So we're going to look at a quick tip with using the polyline to switch in and out of modes when you're tracing images or when you're sketching images. And this can actually make your sketching a lot quicker. I've already started in the sketcher. I'm going to create a new sketch. I'm going to go along the XY plane and hit OK. In here, I'm going to drop some circles. I'm going to make a part. And the idea with this part is that these circles are going to be in the arms. And we're going to sketch around the outside. So I'm going to take all of these and make them the same diameter of around about 15 mil and hit enter. We'll set some distance away from here and here as well of around 30 mil and the same for this one and this one. So if I wanted to surround this with some geometry to make an L shape with curvature in here, then what I would normally do is use some endpoint and rim point arcs and come in and start basically sketching what we need in here. But we can do this with the polyline rather than placing geometry down and start bringing these all together. What we can do is, let's get rid of these two, is use the polyline, this one here. If we roll over this polyline, you can see we've got create a polyline in the sketch, M key cycles behavior. Now this, you may have come across by accident. If you create an arc like so, and then create a polyline that connects to one of these points of these arcs, notice how this comes out. This is actually tangent with that point. So you can see that's coming out. And if you don't know about this, what you've probably have done is used the polyline and you've gone the other way and connected up like so. But all we have to do, if you do get that, is to use that polyline, connect up to that arc, and press the M key, and it swaps between different modes. So we've got released, and we get our normal polyline back here. So you can see we can go in any direction. Press M again, we can arc around this way. I click that, you can see we've got an arc. We're now tangent to that arc. M again, we got 90 degree angle, 180 degree angle, if press um, a number of times, there we go, 180 degree. So depending on what mode you're in, pressing M cycles through to the next mode. And this is handy because we can take what we're doing here, you use the polyline, and I'm going to first drop the first line. So I'm going to create a straight across here. Another tip is to come down and come down to your constraints and see where it's got high listed, just click that, that hides them all. So now we can start sketching the polyline. I'm going to click and I'm going to make a line to around about midway between here. Make sure that's nice and straight. Click, now I'll get the next line, but I want to make an arc in here. So I'm going to hit M and cycle through, we get our arc. So I'm going to say about here. Now I'm looking at where that arc finishes. So you can see we get this helper in the middle, which is the two angles that connect up the two points, showing the center point of the arc. So you can see that in there, Let's zoom in a bit. That center point is there, so you can see we can move. And as we move out, the center point goes up and we can get our arc. So I want to make a 90 degree angle. Click, come up. Not exactly 90 degree, but I can hit M again to make sure I get that straight that goes up here. I'm looking to bring it in line with here. So that center of the circle, straight line going up, click. And I want to come over to the other side here. And rather than clicking, I press M a couple of times and we get that arc and center it right about there, come down, all the way down. And I'm going to go and connect it to this horizontal line. Come around to the other line, rather than clicking, press M to create the arc a couple of times. And you can see we get the arc center that we can manipulate into position. It's going to attach to that vertical line there and come across to the other one. And we'll pull this over and looking to be in that position there. So you can see we're looking to be in position there. The good thing is, is that 
I've come across, I'm in, I'm in the mode that's allowing me to move out so I can move out to here. So if I hit M on the keyboard, you can see the different modes. So I'm going to come over and just making that sure that's nice and straight. I've got the horizontal constraint. I've got the auto constraint on so I get that horizontal constraint. So I can see that straight without clicking. I hit M and we'll hit M again and again until we get this line and I can find where I'm going to place that. So I can place that in line with that center, click, and we get our line, so that's in line. And I'm gonna come round to the other side to here. So I'm coincident with that point, but I'm not clicking and hit M once, twice, three times to make that arc and create our arc and drop the arc. So now I can go through and making sure hitting escape that the two center points are coincident. There we go. Lots of coincident constraint then and highlight those two coincident. And we can go through and just change these. Making sure we got the constraints in, just fixing the constraints and placing those two in line. We may need to say put some tangent constraints. If we've got a line, we can make tangency against those. We can see how quickly we can actually sketch by using that polyline and decide how the lines are going to fall. So that's a quick tip of using that polyline. This is really good when you're tracing something as well, allowing you to go around that object by just hitting the M key rather than flipping in and out the different constraints and the different geometries here. For instance, we may need to create a line like that, hit escape, create an arc so it's less clicks than doing all this then we will need say tangency between those two like so there's no need to do that all we need to do is we create with the polyline the first line click hit m and decide to create our arc this is automatically contangent to here and then come out this way and carry on with the different arcs etc so an arc around that way click and connect back up like so so that's the polyline the different modes of the polyline it takes a bit of getting used to but once you start practicing it then you can actually really sketch out geometry especially if you got a reference material really quickly and efficiently to save you time Hope you enjoyed that quick tip and I'll see you again soon. If you like what you've seen, please subscribe to the site. I also have a Ko-Fi or a coffee site that you can donate to if you so desire. And that's at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G-0. I also run a Patreon where you can subscribe and get extra content. And that's at www.patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Any money that's kindly donated will be used to expand the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and subscribing. And I'll see you again soon.